welcome to another video. Today we are reviewing Pepper Palace. It's it's a hot sauce place. If you guys don't know, I love spicy stuff. Okay, so there's this thing I have to tell you about this tour. So if you guys didn't know, this area is just the starting part where it doesn't, where it's not really spicy. But the farther you get closer to the door, spicier and spicier. Okay, one of the things about this place is you can, you grab a chip from here and there's these spices right here and you can put hot sauce on it and just try if you want to keep it. So first we're gonna do this is the sauce. So um, I'm gonna try it. You didn't even get to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a chip. <laughs> what are you tasting? That is spicy. That's good. It's starting to get me on the tongue. It really gets you on the tongue. I'm not really in the throat or the ears yet. So the manager is here. So her name is Kimberly, I think. So we're gonna interview her and ask her a few questions. Why do you why do you have why do you just make your own sauces and don't do like the popular brown brands like Tabasco and um, Tapatio and that stuff? We make our own from scratch and that way we have all the control over the flavors and we can create a whole bunch of different flavors in our sauces. And we, we do a, a whole bunch. We have over a hundred different products that we make. Uh, in fact, we have, I think, nearly that many just of the hot sauces, not counting all of our other products like the barbecue sauces and wing sauces and yeah. barbecue rubs and seasoning mixes and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna try the Black Rose. This is one of the originals at the Pepper Palace. So I will put this on my chip you here to see. Time for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh, that's definitely spicy. It's like it's on the a little like the right side of the roof of my mouth. And it's starting to really get spicy. <laughs> It's actually like, it kind of like, tastes like I'm eating something sour, but it, but it's like spicy at the same time. So, why do you, why do you have like the real deal, the rare stuff like the Carolina Reaper and the, like, why, like, why do they just make, why do you just make the people grow it? I don't think I mentioned this on camera. So, why do you have to like grow the white habanero and the Carolina Reaper over there? Oh no, those those are so people can take them home and grow them themselves and have their own pepper plant. We we get ours from farmers who specialize in peppers, the ones that we make all of these sauces with. But there's sometimes people want to try growing them themselves, so we give them that option too. Okay. So I got my last chip and we are gonna interview no not interview, taste the whole habanero mango hot sauce and this is one of the most popular in the brand i think i think that's what they said and this is made with fruit it's not just name that in the name yeah the name describes it i'm tasting like i'm eating like a fruit that's rotten and has a little bit of spice in it. It gets me on the top. And it's really getting me now. Oh, it's, it's trying to make its way to the ear. So I'm signing, signing off the manager of Kimberly. Is that anyone? Right? <laughs> so I'll see so I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, hit a like button on this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>